Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. So I'm going to do a past, present, future love reading. Not everything is going to resonate. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also like this video, subscribe to the channel and click this notification bell and order that notification bell. <laughs> Or the note okay whatever Capricorn click the notification bell there it is um, in order to receive notifications when I post if you would like a personal reading or distance Reiki healing services the information is below in the description box so let's go ahead and jump into it spirit give me a past energy oh <laughs> I have intimacy Give me a present energy for Capricorn, please. All right. Ooh, Earth sign. Look at you, Capricorn, coming out of your reading. Okay. Ooh, and then the future energy is empty-handed. Okay, Capricorn. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Intimacy. So for some of you, you definitely could have been dealing with somebody where there was a lot of passion, fire, and desire. You know, Rick James and, um, oh my goodness, Tina Marie. Tell me about intimacy for Capricorn. Mm. The King of Swords. So for some of y'all, you could be dealing, you could have dealt with a fire sign um, or not a fire sign. I'm sorry. I meant um, air, but for somebody, you could have been dealing with a fire sign. But yeah, air sign or you could have a significant air placement. Tell me more about intimacy for Capricorn. intimacy for Capricorn all right oh the Emperor look at that I called him out <laughs> so for some of you you could be oh you could have dealt with an Aries or the father of your child your children are just like you know that high vibrational masculine energy somebody who have their own um, business they really have their stuff together Yeah, for some of you, like, this person found you very attractive. This could have been somebody who you, you know, ended up having a family with. Or this is something that you desired. This person seen you um, long term. But this could have also been somebody, even though you could have seen this person um, as being there long term. Or they could have seen you this way. Like, somebody ended up being left out in the cold and being rejected by this energy you could have rejected this person they could have rejected you but i feel like something was like imbalanced like one person may have looked at the other as like yeah this is commitment material let's move things forward while the other person was like not so much um you know they really were not thinking long-term commitment when it came to you or when you, or you didn't think that when it came to this energy tell me more about this king of swords For some of you, you know, it was just like a, a, a sex relationship. So, you know, either you or the other person like wasn't really thinking like, okay, yeah, this is who I want to marry and settle down with. No, you know, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So tell me about the King of Swords or Capricorn. The King of Swords or Capricorn. the queen of swords okay so for some of you um you could have been married to this person or this person just could have been married king of swords queen of swords so i feel like with both of these energies they were both um on each other's level when it came to um being intellectually compatible i feel like you and this person could have had like a lot of good conversations together capricorn there definitely was a meeting of the minds like you were both on the same page like you um both had the same you know thought process I feel like for someone it's like you fell in love with this person's mind first or they fell in love with your mind like the way that you thought tell me about the Emperor The tower. So something definitely came to an end. Um, Scorpio energy. I feel like it was a stalemate. The hang one, five of cups. Yeah, somebody ended up um, feeling rejected. Somebody ended up being hurt. Tell 
Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords for Capricorn. Oh, okay. Oh, the Three of Wands. And the Four of Swords. Okay, so somebody decided to move on. Somebody didn't stick around. Somebody just completely turned their back. Somebody could have actually like relocated. But I feel like with this Four of Swords, I heard depressed. So somebody could have been like um, depressed about the action that they took. Somebody could have also ended up getting incarcerated. Going to jail for some of you. Somebody definitely um, liked third parties. Yeah, somebody invested a lot of time, energy, and money into third party situations. Um, somebody always went for like who was attractive, the next best thing. Somebody's like, I got money to blow, so why not? Tell me about the tower. Yeah, somebody was just very sexually um, focused. I'm also getting somebody could have been sexually frustrated as well. I have the nine of swords. So I feel like this ending definitely created some devastation for you or some devastation for this person. Yeah, I'm just getting like this emperor energy was like, I'm just getting like a player energy. Like the only thing they cared about was sex, the romance, the world card and the page of cups. So for some of you, um, some shocking news could have came out about a pregnancy. You could have ended up getting pregnant. This person could have ended up getting someone else pregnant and I feel like you ended up putting your guards up to this person tell me about earth sign for some of you right now you could be dealing with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay so I have the page of wands for some of you this child could be an earth sign this could be earth sign child here tell me more about earth sign for some of you, um, if this is you who got pregnant or um, somebody else, they could be like giving birth to the baby like now or they could have recently given birth to the child. Tell me about Earth sign. Ooh, the two of swords in the reverse. So I feel like for some of you, um, you may be making the decision to move on, like to start over to a wands. Yeah, somebody could actually be thinking about relocating, moving. I feel like for some of you with this Knight of Swords and the Four of Wands, somebody could be trying to fight for their family, fight to keep their family together. Tell me more about this Page of Wands for Capricorn. The page of wands for Capricorn. Oh, what do we have? The Queen of Cups. So somebody could currently be dealing with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody who's like emotionally manipulative, vindictive. Somebody like who will use the child to get um, what they want. So this person could have a child with this Queen of Cups energy or this could just be um, this person or you deciding to move on to start over from this Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to detach. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. Somebody's making a decision to have more balance. Tell me more about the Two of Swords in the reverse for a Capricorn. Two of Swords in the reverse for Capricorn. Oh, the Nine of Cups. So I feel like somebody's happy about their decision. Yeah, for some of you, like there's just been a lot of drama, conflict around this connection, this marriage. For some of you, you can be in a higher level of commitment with this person, but it's like somebody's choosing to walk away. Either you or this other energy here. Somebody could be choosing to ghost a situation. I feel like with the hang one, Pisces energy, we have Taurus here. Somebody could have 
um, in Virgo. Somebody could have been thinking about this for a long time, about leaving, ghosting the situation. Yeah, because it's too much drama, too much chaos. Somebody, again, they want peace. Tell me more about this um, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Oh, what do we have? The Ace of Pentacles. So somebody could be um committed to this person. Somebody could be offering a commitment due to the fact that they have a child together. Yeah, somebody married this person or they moved in together. There's some type of commitment here that is taking place or may have recently taken place. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. But somebody's making a decision to hold back their energy with this Four of Pentacles. Okay, Capricorn. So for someone, if there is somebody holding back their energy from you, first with this Nine of Cups, Spirit is saying, you know, do what makes you happy. Put yourself first. If somebody is like holding back their energy, then you need to just focus on yourself. And if this person is, it's because they're already in a commitment with someone that they have a child with. So that's why this person could be pulling back from you, making a decision to withhold. For some of you, there could also be um, someone trying to still hold on to this person. This person could um, want to come in and make you an offer. You could want to make an offer to this person, but there's still someone in the background holding on. This could be this energy where there is some type of a commitment that was established. Let's get another energy on this Four of Pentacles. I feel like with this earth sign, spirit is just saying like you may need to grind, ground yourself. Tell me about the four of pentacles for Capricorn. Yep, the five of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's being left out in the cold. Somebody's being turned down, rejected. For some of you, um, this person who's in a commitment with the mother of their child, they're choosing to just focus on themselves with this nine of cups. So they have started pulling back their energy. And so now this queen of cups in the reverse, she feels left out in the cold. Yeah, somebody's being rejected. Somebody um, could also be moving out of a home. But somebody wants stability. Somebody wants to be happy. Or this could be you, Capricorn. Take it as it resonates. Give me some messages for empty-handed. Oh, what do I have? The Ace of Wands. So yeah, so somebody's deciding to move on. The full Aquarius energy. If somebody's going towards a new beginning, somebody may not have much to start over with, but they are definitely uh, choosing to do so. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody could be investing their money at this time, trying to, you know, become more financially independent. But yeah, Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody's leaving it all behind. Tell me more about Empty Handed. Or they will be. This is the future. Tell me more about empty handed. Also be very mindful of this person coming back around because for some of you, like they're coming back around, but they really don't have anything to offer you but sex. Tell me more about empty handed for Capricorn. Mm. Death. Scorpio energy. Yeah, somebody um is going to be moving on, putting something to rest. Closing out of cycle. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. I feel like something, somebody's just going to be recognizing that they really don't get a lot from this other person that they are attached to. 
So in the future, you're going to be walking away or this person is going to be walking away. Clarifying the Ace of Wands is the Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. So I feel like somebody is definitely going to be heartbroken. But it's like with this everything is fine. Like you're not going to be ultimately ultimately defeated or this person isn't like you're gonna still be able to pick yourself back up and start over like you will live to see another day i feel like you're going to just learn how to look at the brighter side of the situation tell me about death for capricorn death for capricorn oh look at that hat the sun and I was going to say happy. I'm so happy. Like, that's what I just heard. Leo energy. So, yeah. By somebody closing out this cycle, their whole, like, mood is going to change. Like, <laughs> this person is going to be smiling. They're just going to be, like, in a very good and positive energy. Because something was, like, weighing this person down. And now they can finally move on. Or you can finally move on. At the bottom of the deck, I have your energy, Capricorn, the devil, with the Hierophant. Taurus energy. You know what I'm getting with this? I feel like somebody's realizing that they can no longer control a situation. Or they're not allowing for someone to no longer control them. To no longer manipulate them. Somebody's seeing past the mind games. And they're choosing to head in a different direction. Tell me more about this everything is fine. Ten of swords for Capricorn, please. Everything is fine. Ooh, what is this? Look at that. Oh, come on, Aquarius. Let me tell you. Regardless of what you went through in the past and what you may be experiencing now, your future looks great. For some of you with this empty handed, I just feel like this is saying you're starting over. You're starting fresh, new, uh, you know, wiping the slate clean. You're going to be able to rebuild your life. And one thing about rebuilding your life, you get to create it how you want. This time you get to do what makes you happy. Tell me about the sun. The sun for Capricorn. Look at that. Justice. This is your just do. This is your justice. The fact that you get to start over, you get to walk away, you get to close out a cycle. Now everything can balance out for you. And I feel like for some of you, like you had to go through this in order to have a different mindset, a different perspective on life, on your choices. For some of you, you needed to learn how to make wiser decisions when it comes to love or this person did. And that's what they're going through right now. And they're going to come out on the other side of it better than ever. I'm back and I'm better. Like, yes. This person come back is going to be better than ever. God is giving somebody just a whole new beginning. And God is saying like you get to decide how do you want your life to be. This person always had that choice but they didn't know it. Or they took it for granted. So that's why they chose to act reckless. But now they understand understand the importance of making wise decisions. Yeah, for some of you, this person is coming back wiser. I feel like with this empty handed, this person is also coming back more grounded. If this was somebody who was materialistic, like they're, that's going to be done with. I feel like somebody has been humbled or is being humbled right now. Their understanding was really important in life. Or you are. Let's get a final message. Spirit, give me a final message for Capricorn. Oh, what is this? Trust. It says, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Yes, accepting things for what it is, especially when you created it. <laughs> Especially when your choices and decisions created the mess that you're in. You have no other choice but to accept it because you have to look at it every day. 
Some people try to run away from it, but I feel like either you or this person is coming into the energy of accepting it. And like once this person fully accepts what it is, what they have done, then they're going to choose to do something differently. And when you do something differently, then you get a different result. You get a better result. And that's when this person is going to see their life change, their life improve for the better. So Capricorn, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.